The following chemical reactions you are about to see are examples of chemical changes. They take substances like magnesium and turn them into new substances. For example, if I take this strip of magnesium and react it with the oxygen in the air, it's slowly going to oxidize to form magnesium oxide, a synthesis reaction. But of course this takes place very slowly unless I add what's called activation energy by placing the magnesium strip into a heat source like a Bunsen burner. This is a highly exothermic reaction and the smoke you see is actually particles of solid magnesium oxide. Take a look at what we have left after the reaction is completed. It's no longer a nice metallic strip of magnesium. It's now magnesium oxide, a synthesis reaction where magnesium is chemically combined with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. The formula for this reaction is magnesium plus oxygen forms magnesium oxide. One magnesium, one magnesium. Two oxygens, one oxygen, two magnesiums, two magnesiums, this reaction is balanced. Magnesium and oxygen both start off with no charge because they're not in a compound. The magnesium becomes plus two charge, oxide minus two. Therefore, since magnesium increased its charge to a more positive value, it underwent oxidation. And because the oxygen became more negative in charge by picking up electrons, it underwent reduction electrons went from the magnesium to the oxygen. Here we have the much less active metal copper. When copper undergoes the similar kind of change, heating it up in a Bunsen burner flame, you notice it doesn't catch fire but instead darkens. The darkened area is copper 2 oxide. Again, a synthesis reaction by reacting copper with oxygen in the air. For this synthesis reaction, copper reacted with oxygen to form copper 2 oxide. One copper, one copper, two oxygens, one oxygen. Put a 2 in front to balance it, but then we have to fix the copper and now it's balanced. Both copper and oxygen start off with no charge because they're not in compounds. In the compound, their charges are plus two and minus two. Because copper became more positive in charge, it lost two electrons, that's oxidation. Because the oxygen went from zero charge to a minus two charge, it gained electrons and therefore reduction. The copper gave up its valence electrons to the oxygen. In this next reaction, we are going to decompose hydrogen peroxide. Peroxides are very unstable compounds and decompose very quickly when a catalyst is added. The catalyst we will use for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide is manganese dioxide. When hydrogen peroxide decomposes, it forms water plus oxygen gas. We can test for the presence of oxygen gas with the glowing splint test. This splint is on fire. Now it's not. Now it is. Now it's not. Now it is. Now it's not. Whoops. Now it's not. Now it is. The presence of oxygen causes the flame to reignite. The glowing splint test is a very handy test to see if there is oxygen in an environment. This next reaction will test the relative reactivities of two metals. 
copper, and zinc. According to reference table J, zinc is listed higher than copper is which means that the zinc should be able to replace copper in a compound but that copper will not be able to replace zinc in a compound let's put that to the test in order to make this work I'm going to put copper nitrate in with the zinc and zinc nitrate in with the copper and see which one has a reaction the zinc has turned from being metallic to being black that black you see is actually microscopic crystals of copper that reflect light in every different direction which makes it appear black because the crystals are so small where the copper has been completely untouched the zinc replaced the copper but the copper was unable to replace the zinc we try to carry out two single replacement reactions we reacted zinc plus copper to sulfate and we reacted copper plus zinc sulfate which of these two reactions happened the zinc replaced the copper but the copper was unable to replace the zinc so therefore zinc being the more active metal was able to replace the copper to form zinc sulfate and the copper went off by itself to form microscopic crystals that appeared black this reaction was unable to happen zinc started off as zero ended up as plus two it was oxidized as it lost both its valence electrons the copper started as plus two and ended as zero its charge went down as copper gained two valence electrons and the sulfate remained minus two on both sides that makes it a spectator ion